We begin at 5.30 with a warning to residents in one local town after two people were attacked by raccoons. Officials in Dighton are asking people to be alert because experts say more than one raccoon could be roaming the town rabid. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima has the story. That's new at 5.30. Dighton town officials released this public health alert after two residents were attacked by raccoons. The town's animal control officer says this is the first case of potential rabies the town has seen in at least a decade. Animal control is different every day. Stacy Ferry is the sole animal control officer in Dighton. Her current case, a pair of raccoon attacks. Saturday night, a woman was on her boat. The raccoon happened to be on her boat. She was shooing the raccoon off her boat and she got bit. The second incident happened two days later on Monday morning. Morning. The victim was a resident here at Lincoln Village, a housing complex for the elderly and disabled. He went out to have a smoke, sat down, and the raccoon came up behind him and bit him. He's also being treated for rabies. And Ferry doesn't think the same raccoon is responsible for both attacks. Two opposite uh, sides of town, so it can't be the same raccoon. She set up a trap at Lincoln Village with the hopes of catching one of the raccoons and having it tested for rabies. But to be safe, both victims are being treated as if the raccoons were rabid. This is the first time we've had to deal with this. In the town of Dighton, I've never had one that I've, had to, that I've tested. Never. I've been, I've been doing this job nine years. Ferry says there are telltale signs a raccoon is rabid. If it's acting disoriented, walking unsteadily, or foaming at the mouth, it's likely sick. I don't want people to be scared. I just want people to be aware that it could be out there. If you see an animal you think could be rabid, you're urged to call animal control officers immediately. Reporting in Dighton, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.